obviously another overtime thriller uh, come from behind. Uh, game was 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 so proud of these guys. Again, under four minutes to go, down six, I want to say, maybe even down eight. Uh, and our guys had the resiliency to, to get stops uh, when we needed to. And then obviously have some guys take over day day. Uh, you could say the same thing every single game. He just comes to play that last five or six minutes, um, whether it's creating for himself or, in this case, creating and, and hitting some guys. Ryogo, oh my God, what a great job. I'm so happy for him. Kid practices so hard um, every single day. Comes comes to with a you know lunch pail mentality. Uh, awesome, awesome for him to go four for four and make make some big threes uh, to get us back in the game. So uh, big time win for our guys again. Um, so obviously feeling pretty good. You know, we've talked about you know your your pension for for playing from behind and, and kind of pulling these out late is isn't great in the long run. But yeah. how much you know does this make you comfortable if you get into one of those late battles, especially heading yeah. toward the postseason? Well, well, you know that you're going to have them no matter what, whether you're ahead or whether you're behind. You're not going to have these twenty to thirty point blowouts uh, in this league. That's what I'm I'm coming to realize and and certainly remember from from the league in the past. And, and this is no different. So whether we're playing from behind or we're playing ahead, I'm always trying to preach to these guys, don't get too high, don't get too low. There's a lot of possessions. Um, just focus on the next possession. And whether it's defense or offense, limit your mistakes defensively, and then obviously execute as, as well as you can possibly do on the offense end. Uh, you mentioned the performances from from Day Day and Riogo. How about Eamon Joyce? I thought kind of kept you in uh, it early. Oh God, know? yeah. So so early on, and and he's kind of done that, especially at home. He he has a certain comfort level early on. We tried to get him going a little bit. The way they were playing ball screens allowed him to get some open looks. He also got some post up looks as well. When teams try and switch, um, he has obviously the ability and the, and the skill level to score around the basket. Um, and he's and he's 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 tough to stop. So so the, those guys really really stepped up. Uh, Sean Montague, who has had the flu for the last few days, ended up playing. Um, so he toughed it out. Had you know struggled early, uh, but obviously made some huge plays down the stretch, both defensively and offensively. Uh, and lastly, uh, you've now won five of six. Mm. Kind of obviously trending the right way. Do you feel yeah. like you know this is this is the best this team can play right now, or, or are you expecting more? Well, continuing to ex expect more. I think you're, what I'm what I'm feeling good about is. Five, six, seven, and eight now. So, so uh, we had our top four, and I felt comfortable with them. And it was like it was for a while there, trying to figure out, okay, who are we going to play, um, and how many minutes. Now, I think John Martin and Justin Lacey, who didn't have their best games today, um, they've they've been much better, and I feel comfortable and confident in those guys. And then Ryogo starting to play the way he's capable of playing. Now you're talking about now you're going seven, eight, and then Remo obviously has the ability to come in at the front court spot and give us some versatility as well. So I do think there's some stability there, and now guys understand their roles. Um, so hopefully we can continue to do this and, and continue to have some positive outcomes. Thanks, Coach. You got it.